We have uh, on Skype now a, a Chelsea fan, Asa. Hi, are you right? Good evening. Welcome along, sir. Um, okay. Good uh, smile. Hey, that's something we, we haven't seen too many Chelsea supporters do properly, that, that that's big right. smile. Basically, yeah, talk us through that clinical finish by Torres for his, for his first goal in 25 and a half hours. Sorry, I can't hear you there. Sorry. No, I was, I, but basically, I was extolling the virtues of, uh, of Torres' finishing and to break that duck of his. Can you hear so, us? That's it. It was a uh, cracking goal, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> hey, no. it is a great goal. That's right. I, what part of I his think the thing is, he... I think that it's taken, everyone said that he literally just needs one to go in. It doesn't matter how he hits it, how it goes in. It's just got to go in and he's got to carry it on from there. And to be honest, I think that now that he's got that one and then the second one, which is a clever finish, I yeah. think he's definitely, it's, it's in his, it's in his um, hands now as to whether, how he then kicks on from here. Yeah. I think he's got to be picked against Man City. If he's benched again, he's going to be a bit annoyed, and I think it's going to, um, uh, like I say, annoy him a bit. But the thing is, he's got to start in that game against Man City. That's an intriguing uh, point that Asa makes there, isn't it, Luther? Because, yeah. you know, the, 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 Di Matteo now gets to play the psychological part of being a gaffer. Yeah. You see, for me, I think what he should do, he should play both them against them. Can you imagine Drogba and, um, and, and, uh, and Torres playing together at the front? Because the thing is, Drogba pretty much sits up the middle and picks the ball up all the time. Right. Whereas, if you, if you look at the way that um, Torres has been playing, and he's been running, and I think his, his performances have been very, very good over the last few weeks. Very good, and I'm really pleased that he scored today, which, you know, is, is, is reward for the hard work that he's been putting in. So, he would still do all that running channels and all that sort of stuff, and you've got that power of, you know, I think that, might be, that might be a good... Yeah, earlier yeah. As, as someone who just doesn't seem capable of just holding that nine yeah. position. Interesting to think, do you, you know, I mean, you've obviously been watching your boys all season. Do you yeah. think that's something that might work if he was to play no, those two together at the front? I, I, think, I think it's the exact same as the Gerard Lampard thing for England. I think they've, they've shown they can't play together. And if I'm, if I'm being honest, I don't think Drobber really wants to play with anyone else up front. Well, because the thing is, is I think you, we've seen it before, where it's just trying to shoehorn him into the team, and I think if you're going to tr start doing that, it, it's just it's going to put the whole team out of balance and out of sync. What I would say though is that I would rather Torres played out on the wing, for example, because he goes there anyway. He yeah. starts as a central striker and then yeah. goes exactly, to the right or to the left. I think he might exactly. as well put him out on the right or left and try someone like say Daniel Sturridge up front on his own. Yeah, but you see that's why that's why I'm saying, you know, you get the best of both. If you've got you've got um you've got Drogba that will play up top and yeah. run, you know, and he'll he'll control the ball, you know, he'll keep the ball up there for you and he can play against the two or three people there no problem. And you give Torres that freedom to roam from left to right wing whatever all the yeah. time and you go or stick him out and you know on that left hand side which I think would be but better than we, the right. We've, we've, the problem is though we've, we've tried it before with Ancelotti last year and this year as well and I just don't I think it's one of them thing, I think it's one of the things in football where I just think it's just it's not it's just not going to work. For 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 over what 7 8 years we've tried putting Lampard and Gerrard in the same team and it's not worked. And now they're finally starting to get it right and unfortunately leaving Lampard out but they're starting to get it right with the balance and I think if we try and put Torres in like that then I think we'll just be wasting him. What I would say is, start him for the FA Cup games and bring him on as, as a cameo appearance, things like that. And then when the season finishes and Drogba's um, released, that's when we should build a team round Torres, if he's going to stay. Intriguing. So that's, well, okay, that's, well the long, that's the short term and the long term there. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.